We are back at Brand World Summit 2024. I'm joined here by Amit Banka from Swiggy, who has just come off stage talking about personalization at scale. Welcome, Amit. Hi. Thanks a lot for inviting me. Uh, Amit would love to know. You know, Swiggy has done so much around personalization. But what was one key takeaway from your conversation with your co-panelists that you would like to share with our digital audiences? So I think one thing, and uh, first of all, the panelist was uh, really great. There were people from different industries. We had people from Tira, we had people from Bandhan Bank, we had people coming from insurance, we had people coming, also managing marketing for uh, a lot of uh, uh, overseas uh, businesses, right? So one key point, what I actually understood was that personalization, and the next step obviously is hyper personalization, is something which is very key to each and every business. And every business, every vertical, every industry is actually trying to evolve themselves in terms of how do they adapt. Uh, to the specific uh, personalization phenomena how do they actually become more hyper personalized for each and every user how do they communicate in the right language differentiating between each and every user segment of users cohorts of users right so that the loyalty of users towards a brand starts increasing and everybody had very very different use cases very practical use cases where each one of them is actually working to develop their own algorithms their own product and uh, services so that it actually caters to niche audience individual users in a different way in in a personalized way fantastic you know brands today are building for urban audiences but swiggy is a brand that's going to bharat and connecting with those audiences how are you building that marketing strategy and what role does short video and regional influencers play in that strategy so that's a that's a very good question so india next as we call it in swiggy which is the tier 2 cities tier 3 tier 3 cities and beyond is where we actually want to penetrate because that is where we see that the entire food delivery business lot of grocery business is also actually going to grow in the next 2 uh, uh, to 3 years uh, as a strategy what we see is that lot of these cities specifically tier 2 and beyond are very very regional right they are regional with respect to language they are regional with respect to dishes they are regional with respect to cuisines they are also regional with respect to the people they follow or they popularize among themselves and now looking at this what you have seen there uh, seen is a lot of uh, national level celebrities or mega influencers don't work for these set of audiences right because they always feel that if somebody is showing them and i'll give a very brief example and there is something what i really love because that is the highest selling dish in india which is biryani uh, uh, when when a user uh, at a national level sees biryani and if a mega influencer is showcasing that biryani they are, they might be showcasing it in a very very different way at a very nationalistic way but when you let's go into deeper parts of the country right let's say if you are in kerala in, in you are in a tier 2 city in kerala kannur or let's say if you are in uh, a tier 2 city in karnataka or in andhra pradesh the taste of biryani changes by leaps and bounds the way people relish this dish is very very different that is where the role of a regional influencer comes into picture which we normally also call as micro nano influencers or a mega influencer in that specific city or region because they are able to bring out the right authenticity of the dish in that region and that is where users will connect with them rather than connecting with a national level uh, a celebrity or a mega influencer fantastic it's great to have you join us today and share your thoughts on brand building in the digital age it was wonderful to hear from you thank you so much thanks a lot